What's up guys, it's Mion. I am back with another video, and today it is time to begin this journey through the Mondrian World Finals history of freestyle, to be exact, and rescore each World Finals freestyle event to see if the champion can retain their title. With that being said, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. Let me know your thoughts down below. Make sure to check out the intro video if you don't know what I'm doing here. And let's get into this. So, I have a whole ass notebook here. Um, and yeah, let's get into this. So, World Finals 1, back in the year 2000, before I was born. 16 Truck Field. The funny thing is, is originally it was only going to be about 10 or 12. And then it became a 16 Truck Field at the last, uh, the last minute, essentially. 14 trucks competed in freestyle, two of which uh, could not make it from racing due to issues suffered then, Airborne Ranger and King Crunch. Uh, three trucks runs would not air on pay-per-view, which that's how it was at the time, was uh, Monster Jam aired the World Finals on pay-per-view, um, though I believe it was tape delayed, so that's why these runs weren't shown. And then they, ne they never got shown at all, and over the years, footage has been found for two of them, but there's only pictures for the other one. Those being Prowler, Reptoid, and WCW Nitro Machine. Of course, also remember, late 90s, early 2000s, Monster Jam was working with WCW, so they had some of their trucks, and one of their wrestlers, who was also driving, um, which was really cool. So, Prowler got stuck early in his run, Reptoid uh, blew an engine, uh, and WCW Nitro Machine uh, crashed um, early. So, those runs never got shown, so I can't rescore those, obviously. Um, minute 30 second time limit, six judges, drop the high, drop the low, get your score. So that's how I'm doing it, is I I put myself in that situation, I give six numbers, I then take out the high score, you take out the low score, you add the other four, there's your score. And being that this was the first World Finals, and Freestyle was still kinda new back then, um... Scoring was a bit weird uh, in some aspects to where if you look at it through the lens of today with all the different rules and guidelines um, that, you know, that judges would have for freestyle, some of these runs would not score nearly as high as they did now or they did then. Uh, however, the main thing is it has to play into who the champion was. And in real life, the champion was Gravedigger. Verdict is, <clears throat> and still, your Monster Jam World Finals 1 freestyle champion, Gravedigger. So, in reality, the only trucks that really contended for the freestyle win at World Finals 1, um, it was really just Gravedigger and, um, and RadJed.com. Those being Dennis Anderson and Lyle Hancock. Now, in real life, Gravedigger got a 40, the only perfect score in World Finals history. Wrenchhead had a 39, NWO had a 37, Goldberg had a 37, and then Medusa and Gunslinger tied for fifth at 34. Here's the thing for me. Goldberg. He had a good start, hits the center jump for the backside, but has to back off. Upon landing, flies the left front tire, hits the center jump from the front, bounces, rolls over, knocking a tire off in the process. Spectacular crash. He did not fill the time. I still gave him a 34 in the end, but not a 37. It's not that close. It cannot be that close to the top. It's still close, but it's not that close. Not contending close. Um, Hartsock had a, had a good start. Struggled to keep momentum, did fill the entire clock, so he ended up going from a 34 to a 31. Um, and Medusa, slow start, attempted to build momentum, um, ends up getting a walking wheelie before rolling over off the jump in front of her, didn't fill the full time, so I dropped her from a 34 to a 28. Um, if she kept up momentum a little better, she probably would have scored a little better, uh, in my view. But again, in reality, it just came down to Gravedigger and Wrenchhead. And while I don't have Gravedigger getting a perfect score, and I don't have Lyle Hancock getting a 39, I gave Hancock a 37. 
Um, you know, he attempted the reverse donut, gets Big Air with a reverse hit through the middle jump, filled the whole clock. Um, phenomenal job. But what gave Gravedigger the win, in my view, like it did in real life, was he had a fast start. He got Big Air, kept up his momentum. He had to back up momentarily with a broken rear steer, but then he hits the backside of the middle jump, attempts to save the truck on the, on the other end, rolls it over as time expires, and I ended up giving him a 38. I still think he wins. Um, for the first World Finals freestyle, it was interesting. Uh, it, it's interesting on a rewatch, seeing, especially seeing how much it's changed over the years, but I don't think... I still, I just don't think Wrenchhead.com wins. Uh, Hancock put on a hell of a run. Digger's run was just a little bit better. And that's what allowed Dennis to get the overall victory. So he wins. Um, and nothing changes as far as champions go here. But there will be changes. So stay tuned for that. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Uh, make make sure again to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss out on future videos and streams. And I'll catch you all next time for World Finals 2. Peace.